everybody doing today I'm back with another video on these um, these templates that I have that's on my website um, videos that are coming up that I haven't done yet is football soccer volleyball are coming up and softball as well the actual application of um, of actually putting it on the balls I think I've pretty much uploaded all the videos on how to use the templates now it's actually getting it on the ball I know it's, it's up next so um, I think this is the last one that I need to do using the template is the actual cheer horn so I'm gonna do that one and then I'll start the series on getting the stuff on the different balls so that'll be coming up soon I know everybody's waiting on that so they're coming soon um, okay, so here is my cheer horn template. Let me bring it in the way you guys see it. So let's go back and actually bring it in what you see when you purchase the template. Okay, so when you actually purchase it, it looks like this okay like this I think I have it up here but this is what it looks like I'm gonna delete that one because that's not what you get so we're gonna use what you what you actually receive which is this right here okay I cannot stress this enough I cannot stress this enough measure for yourself measure for yourself I'm not sending you the template in the size of whatever cheer horn you're getting I got a cheer horn from Walmart that doesn't I can't I can't make you understand this enough some people are ordering their cheer horns from uh, Amazon some are ordering them from um, what's the name? Oriental Trading. There's plenty of people selling the cheer horn because you may not want to do the big one like I'm doing. You may want to do the small one. I can't stress to you enough to measure yourself. This is not going to be for every cheer horn. You might have to finagle it a little bit. You might have to make it work for you. But this is the gist kind of of what a cheer horn is and like I say I'm about to use the one from Walmart and even after I grab the one from Walmart and I did it myself I realized that it was a little shorter than what I wanted it, it ended up being the, the the template is like off a little bit but I figured out a way it it's trying to compensate for the handle and then I realized that and I was like I really don't want it to do that but it is what it is so I figured out a way to make it right okay um, the materials that I actually use to put it on the horn I will list it in the in an actual video of us putting it on the on, on the cheer horn I put that information in there um, but this is just how to use the, the template for right now so of course in all of the videos the first thing I tell you to do is ungroup it so then you have this, you have this, and you don't need this anymore. Then you tell this to release the compound path, and you move that piece out of the way. We know from other videos that this is your um, safe area where you're going to put everything on the front. Because this stuff right here, because everywhere that's on the outside of this, on the outside of this green part, this is considered the back. This right here. Let me let me see. Cause I got this wonderful little thing here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if this opens up. You're supposed to be able to click on this and it opens up. I don't know what it's doing. I don't want to hide this. I don't want to hide it. I want to open it. Okay. It doesn't want to open. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There is this opening. So, spotlight, boom. Okay, this area right here, 
on this edge is going to be the back this edge is going to be the back this is the bottom so if you're looking at the, i know we're looking at it flat right now but you got to remember that all of this is going to wrap around to the back so you're not going to see it you, you're really just, just not going to see it so there's no point for it okay turn the spotlight off okay here we go let me minimize this I'm sorry people okay so you, you don't need that all right so if we use my design that i've already created as you see all my stuff sits in the safe area this has been tried i've already this, this design that i put together i've already tried it on a cheer horn i've already um, made sure that everything fits inside um the space and i can tell you that i had these way over here and the Panthers, let me zoom in a little bit. The Panthers here, I had it way over here and way, it was all out of frame. It wasn't right at all. It just didn't look good, okay? This uh, fits down around the bottom. Um, and it fits, it fit pretty well. It fit pretty good. Okay, so my modifications to it. Well, let's not do modifications first let's do let's actually recreate this design okay let's do that so here we go this is okay so i just want to make sure that i got it the right size okay so we go and we find google go to google and we look up, um, I see cheer backgrounds. Right. And I found this one. I was like, oh, that's cute. It's pretty cute. And then they have all these other ones. And I was, I'll take that. So we just copy the image. And we paste it. You can save it. I have millions and bajillions of designs that I've saved. And I don't want to save anymore right now. Okay, send to the back because we're going to crop this out. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. And you can choose. You can choose. See, I, I uh, picked the middle portion. But you can say, I don't, I don't want, I want all of that portion. And slide this down and level it with the side we're gonna, I'm gonna actually do that like we're gonna slide it down we're gonna level it with the side here let's see how that looks I know y'all like what is she doing and you see that see now you have just that swoop going in there like that but you know and then like I say, it's all about how you crop things, about how you want things to look. So, let's go back to the original one, the one that I, the one that I originally did, like this, and crop it. Ooh, nope, that's not it. It's a little bit bigger than. There we go. Bring it in a little bit. Get the whole swirl. Bam. Okay. This is where we at. We got we got swirl in there. Got the whole thing. Okay. So I got this little darling's picture. Let me duplicate it. Her mom is one of my favorite people in the world, and um, she's on our cheerleading squad here in Americas. Um, I just kind of hacked onto her mom's Facebook page and take some pictures. V, I hope you don't mind if you see my YouTube <laughs> that I got your baby's picture up there. I know you don't. Um, and I kind of got her picture up there. I, you know, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't mind, though, for me to use it. I'm More than likely, I'm going to give her this cheer horn. Yeah, I'm just going to gift her this cheer horn. For, for taking her baby's pictures but she don't mind um <laughs> so uh, i just put i used of course my favorite things to use like i've always done 
um, in all my videos, if you go back and watch the basketball video or the football video or any other video where I get the pictures and I probably used, um, let me close off on this stuff, the photo scissors and cut the background out. And I um, upload the image and then I, let me see, can I do one right quick? It's not going to be the same picture, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of, of what I mean, of how it removes the background. I use my cousin here and I pull her up and it will immediately pick up her and then all the parts that it missed I will tell it to get and any parts that's in question I'll go back and say yes get those so that's basically what it's doing it's saying is, is this right so that's how it does that and it cuts that out okay it will pick up the background for you okay so now that we've done that part We've got Key cut out. That's her name. Her name is Key. And um, we add some word art. And basically what I did was I took the word Panthers and I uh, typed it in a line. And then I added an offset. So I really don't need this anymore. I basically can show you all from this part. What I did from this part for it. So bring this over. Uh, put that back. So that's how I get to this point. Okay. Offset some words, so on and so forth. Okay. The most important part is these black boxes. This, this two black pieces that's on here. This is a 19 by 13 sheet of paper. A sub has 19 by 13 photo paper. That is what I printed this on. It is amazing. It prints amazing. Just regular old, regular old Smegula inkjet printer. I know everybody wants to sublimate and it's like, how do you sublimate this? How do you do this? Guess what, people? Everything in the world does not need to be sublimated. Everything that you do it's just not sublimation. It really just doesn't have to be. I know you all want it. You're like, oh my God, I just got to have it. Sublimating is a wonderful thing. Not all the time. Not all the time. You don't need to sublimate all the time. Sometimes you can just print it and it does its job. Okay? Um, so I... These two pieces here is what I call my overhang, okay? So now that we have this part here, it's, it's about 19 inches across. And then when you get to the top, I think the top is like 13 or something like that. No, 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 right from here to here is like, I'm sorry, from here to here is about seven and a half. From here to here is like 19. And so I had to figure out because the dimensions on this is really obscure because it's the, the, the angle of the cheer horn so when I wrap this around it left me with like a two inch gap and I was like why is this leaving this two inch gap I got plenty enough paper why can't I have why won't it wrap flush together for this for this wrap for this you know for this to meet in the middle and I fought with it and I fought with it and I was like, you know what? It's just not gonna do it. I mean, it will, if you want it to, you could play with it yourself and, and try to get it that way. I haven't found a way to get it perfect. You know, I just haven't found that way. And I was like, if you're doing it, if you're holding the cheer horn, you're not gonna see it anyway. You know, it's supposed to be more or less for a uh, memorabilia type item. It's not something you're actually going to use. It's something you're going to give someone. So I was like, I'm not going to fight with it too much longer to make it perfectly line up in the back. It's, it's just not going to be so. 
So what I did was right here, I added a two inch strip of black because that's how much it was missing. I'm gonna add it on both sides. The same length, I, you know, same length and uh, the same length as the actual template. I added a two inch strip and I know you're like, well, what, when you added the two inch strip, what did you do? How did you get it like this to cut it? I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to move this one. I'm going to do it on this side so you can see it. Um, I wish there was a different way. I just haven't found it. If you guys get the template and you find a better way to do it, you guys let me know. I just haven't. So um, I stretch this out all the way down. You see that? And I get it right up against that part and make it about the same size. Oops, I don't wanna turn it too far, okay? trying to figure out why is this not laying up against like I want it to okay there we go okay so let me make it black so you can see it okay you see that that's what I did right there that's what I did and you don't have to cut the edges you don't have to I did and I know you mean by what I mean by cut the edges and that's this right here. You don't have to when you print it, it's not gonna print anyway. But you know, if you like me, you have a, a, a mild case of OCD, then slice that off. Slice it off. And you can do the same up here. Just kinda slice it off. And then uh oh. Sorry. And then there you go that's that's what I did that's what this is that is what ultimately what that is I'm gonna delete that one so when I go to print this when you you'll see when I do it when it folds around in the back you're not gonna see anything it's gonna look like a thin strip of black you're not even gonna see it you're not even gonna you're, you're not even gonna see the black because it's gonna overlap on top of itself and you'll see it now on one side when, you'll see when I actually do it that some of it I cut off, but I want the thick piece so I know I know exactly how much to cut off. So I give myself like four inches to play with so I can make sure that I have enough on both sides to make it right. And it, the first one I did, it only had black on one side, which looked weird because then it's like, why is that black there? But once you put it on both sides, it looks like it's part of the design, like it was designed to be that way. So I'm doing it on both sides this time. So when I wrap it around the uh, the uh, cheer horn, you'll see it. Um, the cheer horns at Walmart have screws in so you can take the handle off, which is great because then you can you know, manipulate, and I'll show you how I punch the holes and do all of that stuff like that. But that is it for the designer. If you want to add something else, add more pictures, um, do anything else, then you you know you're free to do so. You know, real design like we do memorial shirts and. All